everyone, it's Megan Gravner with AboveRubyStudio.com. Today, I am using something from the current December kit over at Club Ruby Designers, and I am doing videos left and right over there right now. We're doing a whole week of Christmas cards and some layouts and other fun things, so I just thought I would go ahead and share with you guys a card, a very, very simple card. I used the Cricut and the Winter Frolic Cricut cartridge. I've been using that all week, and I am just simply easy one cut the phrase holiday hugs because it has a cute little bird on it I used the white glimmery cardstock that we had in the kit and some green cardstock in the kit and again this is just a really quick simple card we're doing all kinds of different things right now with Christmas holiday fast approaching here can't believe we're into December like we are so I just wanted to share because I will be taking some time off from my normal videos over the holidays just to spend time with my family. I won't be doing actual tutorials. You'll pro I will be checking in and you'll be hearing from me, don't worry. But there will be a small break from our regular tutorials that we do on Tuesdays through the holiday season. This is an A2 size card. This is just some craft card stock that I'm going to fold in half. Very simple. This is some paper from My Mind's Eye included in the kit. I'll be adhering this down to the front. I'm going to start over on the side where the crease is so that if there is any excess overhang that I can trim it off easily without cutting into my card. So there's my card front. I'm going to use my Zig Squeeze and Roll 2-Way Glue Pen to adhere down my sentiment saying right down on the front of the card like that. We have our green cardstock for our layers. Goes right on top. It is so windy and cold here today. Brr. And we have some flowers included in the kit. I was just going to attach one of them down. But instead of doing that, there are two cute little felt snow, uh, snowmen. Yeah, these aren't snowmen. These are gingerbread men included. And I thought maybe I could put them right along the edge there. So we can just peel off their backing. Kind of overlap them that they're like holding hands and we can make one blinged up a little bit. Let's do it like this. I am going to add a strip of this red cardstock from the kit. This is pattern from my mind's eye. There's holly berries on the one side adhere this right down along the top just to give a little bit of a border. Ooh, actually, come to think of it, let's give it a real border. I have the dotted scallop border punch. It's really delicate and pretty and with the polka dots of this card I think it'll be really neat. So we'll just go ahead, place our paper in here in the center and we'll go from end to end. Line up the little polka dots. And you can see when you start in the center and work out, you can get pretty even on both sides. You don't have any one side half, half hanging off. It's all pretty even. I 
just use our zig to attach this down to the top. Just like so. Going to grab my corner chomper. I'm going to do a full half inch round on all four corners. And then we're going to add some glittery bling. And finish off this card for today's tutorial. Very, very simple. So there you have it. I hope that you enjoyed this simple card and have a warm and happy holiday.